Okay, so I'm on a mission to find the best, most amazing facial oil on the market that's all moisturizing, healing, and restoring. Can this be the bee oil? I have no idea, so we gotta investigate. I gotta Google this. I'll be honest, I'm not the hugest fan of facial oils, but I wanted to give this a chance because the ingredients seem so intriguing. I've never heard of this before, but amongst the skincare community, there are amazing ingredients such as like squalene, macula, organ, baobab, <laughs> Brazil nut, rose hip. Like there's so many different ingredients that I'm just like, oh my God, I have to try this. And it's only $9. Squalene balances out the oil production just enough to keep moisture on the skin and it's perfect for acne prone skin, while baobab is just amazing antioxidant that's super popular. But anyway, this is the rest of the ingredients I just want to say those two because those are so popular amongst the skincare community But there are a couple bad reviews saying that the stench of the smell is so bad But I wanted to try it anyway, so this is what the packaging looks like a UV protection bottle So we're going to test. Um, I don't know what the stain is. I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm not questioning it I think that was like beet juice or something. I stored it in my fridge But anyway, I have some acne and a bit of scarring and redness This is what my skin looks before and I'm gonna take some four pictures <laughs> Oh my god. So it's a daily support formula for all skin types. So yes, I don't know what that daily support formula means, but this oil is yellow. Looks like olive oil, quite frankly, but it smells like something. It smells very herby. I haven't been the biggest fan of oils in general because it's so hard to find some that obviously one doesn't break you out and two absorbs very deeply into the skin. I'm excited to try out this new oil. So this is one of the first oils that I've seen that actually say that it leaves like a gold kind of hue, glowiness, which I thought was amazing. Tune you in soon. <laughs> I will say the only thing about facial oils is I just don't like how it literally makes your hair so greasy in the morning. <laughs> and again, in the morning, my hair is just a green ball of grease. <laughs> it's a very intense love-hate relationship, quite frankly. I am just very emotionally confused <laughs> when it comes to this. Anyway, we'll see if any improvements happen, and again, I will keep you updated, and yes, I wear like the same shirt every single day. <laughs> this is a different white shirt. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, the first time I applied it right off the bat, I felt a tingling sensation. So I was like, uh-oh, this is not good for sensitive and acne-prone skin. So I got a bit freaked out. So a couple days into it, I was contemplating giving up because I didn't want any flare-ups. But I just kept with it because I was like, whatever. Let's just see what happens. The smell, I will say, is pretty intense. Like straight up vibes when you go and open a pantry door or something and the spices are just overtaking your nasal passages. So I do understand what the reviewer meant by the smell. So it is. Monday, March 8th. You're going to do kind of a quick update on how the heck my skin is looking like. Just honestly observing from here, my skin looks so much more glowy, of course, and more moisturized. My skin, I felt like I had a hard time absorbing the oil. I don't know, some oils, they absorb like right away. Some oils, they just take time to absorb. This one, I felt like it almost sat on top of my skin. It was just like, again, just super, super greasy. I felt like it wasn't actually getting in there, but the more I used it, the more I'm like, okay, I think I can get used to this, but it's not irritating it does smell a little bit <laughs> and this was like the couple week in mark so at this point I was definitely more used to the smell and it actually was not as intense as I thought it's just the initial I think first time use it's like pretty intense but after that I didn't have any more tingling the only tingling I felt was literally the first couple times I used it and then my skin must have adjusted or gotten used to it after that so it was fine from then on and I just keep using it every morning and night basically until uh, the end of the month so my skincare routine it always has been toner, serum, moisturizer, and then oil. And finally, towards the end of the month, I finally started to do toner, serum, oil, and then moisturizer very, very last. And I didn't realize like how much of an impact putting oil before moisturizer had on my skin and how much more effective the oil was. I always thought it was the opposite. Literally ever since, oh my God, this is so blurry. <laughs> ever since I started putting this oil on before my moisturizer, because I always put on oil last, but ever since I put it on before, it's more moisturizing, it absorbs more and I feel like my moisturizer just performs better. <laughs> I feel like the oil is not sitting on top anymore and my moisturizer, for some reason, it feels like it's still absorbing. So yes, oil before moisturizer. <laughs> 
time for the month-long update after this. <laughs> okay, the final prediction. It is Thursday, March 18th. I think it's like been exactly a month, so that's insane, first of all. Anyway, um, we have some pimples going on here. I don't know if it's hormonal, I have no idea. But I did start editing the video and I did notice my acne from a month before is pretty much still there. But I mean the glow though. <laughs> you all know that I am taking Tretinoin, which makes your skin so sensitive and dry. And I've never peeled once this whole month, which is amazing. And my skin never felt dry really like this whole month. So that is also good. I definitely, definitely noticed less redness on the cheek area, minus the chin obviously. And I've been picking out like the thing on my nose. So that's why it looks really red. <laughs> my skin just feels more bouncier and looks more glowier. I don't think the oil broke me out. The chin acne is usually due to hormonal stuff. So I will not bash it for that. But I do definitely think this is an acne approved oil. Definitely nourishes and evens out the discoloration of your scarring. But anyway, if you want to check out my other ordinary reviews, I will link a whole playlist down below so you can binge watch those if you want. And yes, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.